Wednesday on Strange Places. While we were attempting to slide on top of the ice without losing our balance, Dan had a much different strategy. Yeah, there's like a solid, like, six inches of air in the water. Oh, that's not bad at all. The ice was beginning to thin, but this presented a slight hazard, as one misstep and you could fall on your face. Yo, it's good, it turns into water up here. We're very shallow water. Oh, where, where's that? Yo, it turns into water. So I decided to eliminate the hazard by acting as the crew's icebreaker. I'll pre crack this for y'all. <laughs> so, guys, we just spent a little bit of time uh, cracking the ice. My shoes are already wet, so I don't really care. It's nice and warm in these tunnels, actually. It's, it's definitely about freezing in. And there's no wind, which is the most important part. I only got hypothermia after getting wet in the Hinsdale tunnels. Uh, after I came out of the tunnels in the wind. So. Flashing back to February 2019. My last adventure through a drainage system, I learned that exploring in wet tunnels during the winter time was actually fairly dangerous as I attempted this boat expedition through the Hinsdale tunnels, but fell in the water halfway through, and as I exited the tunnel, I developed second stage hypothermia. I'm soaked. My, the back of my coat is soaked too. Mostly wet, and I'm about to go exit the tunnel, and I'm shaking. I'm shaking really bad. Hopefully this time, I could avoid such an ordeal. I think your feet are gonna get wet eventually. Check this out. Up ahead was an amazing ice formation. So I'm gonna change my gear right now. At this point the water was so high that I decided to convert my pants into shorts. Maybe in some tunnels, but I still got the drip though. So is this tunnel. I'd like to say. Ha. So we just passed up those icicle things there. But uh, right now my, my feet are pretty cold and my boots are frozen. I can't undo the laces. Lord leading the way. Yeah. Let's see how far down we can see this. I'll set the ISO to super high too. Yeah. That's about as far as we can see down. What do you suppose that is? Like a hundred yards or so? I can only see with my camera, dude. So that's a long ways. The gritty and sometimes dirty reality of city living was present in its drainage system. Everything on the surface was swept into the underground, and this included things like this heroin spoon. Look at this. Yeah. Man, that's nasty. Pretty sure that's black tar heroin. Ugh. Maybe. Right, so right now we're 10 minutes in, guys. We got animal paw prints. I mean, something was in here. 
Yo, someone was down here. What kind of animal can lurk down here without any light? Oh, that's... Guys, that's weird. I don't know what kind of animal can see that wall in the dark. Yo, guys, what kind of animal is this? How can it see with no light? Yeah, but night vision doesn't work when there's no light. How can they see? Oh, really? They can say it? I guess. Because there's literally no light. Like, night, even animal night vision can't work in here. Because I've seen movies in Madison who's just going to get around, like, in and out of the Oh, no. That's insane. So basically animals use these drains to get from place to place despite the fact that they can't actually see where they are. It's all pitch black down here, even to nocturnal animals. Guys, here the has changed. Uh, this is like metal now and it's changed shape. That's about, okay guys, we're about five, five feet below the surface. Dan stopped here to compare and contrast everyone's tunnel exploring uniforms. He's doing like a real OG. Got the, the I'm not slipping though. Like you yeah. know, I do. <laughs> Going behind the field, he's got, field. Yeah, he's got the tactical boots on. Yeah. Explorer X has some uh, rubber boots. Old uh, Lord Explorer's busted out the full Go kit. Look at that. Look Go at it. Home boy, he okay? does not leave without the drip. <laughs> you think those icicles are melting? Better to be prepared, okay? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Guys, I don't think I've explained my theory behind wearing nothing, but the rubber boots slip a little, I'm getting some better grip right now, and waders can fill with water and pull you to the bottom. <laughs> so that's why I'm not wearing so. An interesting observation here was that a lot of iron oxide seemed to be pouring out of this smaller tunnel. Where did this tunnel lead to? Go in the comment section to state your theory behind this heavy iron buildup. We came to a large room where we were able to see and travel between four different tunnels. Yo, we got we got connections right here. Yo, check this out. Yeah, tunnels. We have four tunnels here. Guys, we're gonna switch. Right now, we're gonna switch tunnels. And we're gonna rush the water ahead. So hopefully there's something cool up there. Oh yeah, there's no more ice down here. We were tempted to switch tunnels for the sake of variety. However, after discovering that one of the tunnels was filled with methane, we decided to keep going down the original tunnel. So what Explorer X is telling us right now is that we shouldn't take this far tunnel because all this decay right here. Because all this decay, when it decays, it turns into methane gas. So, the air down here, the air quality is gonna be not very good. Yeah, there's definitely, it definitely smells in here. As we continued down the tunnels, we made another discovery. It appeared as though the tunnels had their own ecosystem, as we found a fish living deep within the tunnel. Where? Right there. Oh, bath It was extremely easy to catch, as the extreme cold most likely contributed to its lethargy. Check that out, guys. According to our sewer species chart, this fish is a very rare Wisconsin sewer trout. Alright, just kidding, that's not actually a thing. The Dan Leopus, on the other hand, is all too real. Let's find it. Yeah, we can end our, our journey. It was getting late, and we had a long trek back. But we heard some rushing water up ahead and thought there could be an area with some interesting water features. We decided that we would find the source of the noise and then finally turn back. We finally found the source, a second tunnel room where a few tunnels converged. So we're gonna probably find a day to come back here. Yeah, so that, that's the water line right there. See that? Water line. 510, so the water line's what, four, five feet? What lies ahead in the pitch blackness is an adventure for another day. Lord is leading the way. He said he heard someone. He thinks he heard someone, he doesn't know. But if it's cops, I'm staying down here for 10 days and we're gonna make a whole vlog about me surviving in the tunnels. 
We're gonna be eating the fish that we saw earlier and we're gonna be drinking the water and that's how we're gonna survive for 10 days while we evade the police. Okay guys, we're gonna turn the lights off right now. Just to show you, wait, I'm gonna turn my ISO all the way up. Just for proof of how dark it is in here. So guys, ISO all the way up, turn our flashlights off. Yeah, we can't see shit. Yeah. This, is, like, this is dope. This is dope enough to get those visual hallucinations. Back here, I attempted to open the manhole cover to see where we were. So unfortunately guys, I tried to get that manhole open, but, uh, yeah, it's, it's, there's like two feet of snow above me, so. So now we're getting out of the tunnel, and this blast of cold air is gonna hit my feet. So my feet are about to be numb in about five minutes. And there's the end of the tunnel. You're destroying an abandoned place, Lord. This is vandalism. Guys, look, it's Lord, the guy who doesn't cause any drama or vandalism. Reporting with the Urbex police for vandalism. Put this on you, we are. Lord explores vandalizing the storm drain. <laughs> Lord, give us guidance out of the tunnel. Of I got that on camera, bro! Oh, oh my god, dude! Dude, that was the scariest thing! I didn't know what was happening! No, that, that noise, I was like, I know, I was like, what the f did that come from? Holy s. It's horrifying. That does not sound. Hey, yo, I got all that on video. Yeah, that was, it sounded like David. Yeah. That could have been our last moment. <laughs> You're such an s. Oh lord. You're ruining the spot for everyone. Guys, thanks for watching. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, share, and comment. I'm your host, Max Power. See you next time. Did you get a chance to look at any of that that our yeah. clients sent us? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Can you look at this screenshot? There's something on there. Do you remember the Utah monolith? Of course. That, that thing they found out in the middle yeah. of the desert? I think that's the monolith. I think it's bad. It doesn't even make any sense. Why is it there? I'm so cold. What do you think this place even is? Or was? I guess. That's Dude, that's a monolith. Did you hear that? Get up when you investigate. Right now we're gonna check the trail cams. Dude, we got something. What the f is that? What the f is that?